Welcome to our first official YouTube podcast. This is Don. Thank you very much for joining us. This is going to be very short, but um, let me just get a few of the regular things out of the way. If you'd like to uh, help us out, if you think that we are of some value to you, uh, you can always uh, subscribe by hitting the red button. And... uh, Click all notifications so you'll know whenever we're doing anything. Uh, If you want to support us, uh, give us a thumbs up. Pass this thing around. And um, uh, we also, we're not monetized or anything, so just simply go to our website because we've got merch coming soon. We've got merch, merch coming soon. And, uh, We'll tell you about that hopefully sometime within the week in a regular YouTube video. But uh, if you want to help us out, just go to paypal.me slash radiodon. Paypal.me slash radiodon. If you can help us out with five or ten, we really would appreciate it. With that out of the way, there is a new... Uh, survey out that basically says that one out of every four Democrats only one out of four Democrats would like to see Joe Biden run again uh, for a second term as president. That's um, interesting to say this say the very least. Joe Biden hasn't done a bad job. I mean, you know, he basically helped us get through the uh, pandemic. He has helped with the uh, with the infrastructure plan. He's done, a, he's done about as good of a job as being not just a president, but an, a leader as anyone could be. But there are a couple of reasons why I think this is so. Why only 25% of of Democrats would like to have uh, Joe Biden run again. Number one, he's not as progressive enough. He's not as woke enough. He's not as, you know... He's, he, he is still that middle-of-the-road guy who wants to work with Democrats, I mean, with Republicans. The problem is, right now, more and more, the majority of Republicans in the House and the Senate don't want to work with you. They don't want to find solutions for, with you. In some cases, they're not even honest with you. But he still thinks, you know, we can work together. Bull. And the only other thing is that he is, well, let's say the word, old. The average uh, life expectancy of an American male as of 2023 is a little bit over 73 years. And Joe is 80. He'll be 82 on the next um, next inauguration day. So we're looking for a younger person, but who? Name one person that you think would be a good president who not only can get the stuff that you want done, but can get elected. That's the other thing. Can this person get elected? We don't vote for people in terms of merit outside of the fact that what what have you done lately? Whoever you pick has to be some person that the person in Podunk wants to elect.
I have, a, I have a better idea. Hear me out. And I kind of like Kamala. She's a good person. But there are, are probably more negatives in terms of Kamala than there are in terms of Joe. I'm throwing this out as an idea. You appoint Kamala to some very effective position on the cabinet, in the government, things like that. You do not take her out of the system. You just don't put her as vice president. Because what... Because basically, vice presidents, you know, they, all they do is, you know, bully pulpits and uh, shopping center openings. But you need somebody who can step in just in case. Because at 80, you're really close to just in case. So you need somebody who would be, in essence, a progressive... Ron DeSantis, a flamethrower, someone who will carry that woke banner proudly. There's only one person I can think of, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She will be of age, 30 on Inauguration Day. Yes, that would make her the youngest vice president in the history of this country, but most importantly, it would give AOC the chance not only to have that bully pulpit that Kamala Harris does, but really on-the-job training so in case something would happen to Biden, she would be ready. Vice President AOC. She's already very popular with, you know, voters with a, with a pulse. There are a lot of people who would like to see her as president. I think this is the quickest way to get there. For her to be vice president, ready if for some reason because of health matters or whatever, Joe either has to resign or he is no longer able to function. I know that sounds <sighs> dark and ominous, but I've always been a realist. And right now, right now, you need somebody who can be a flamethrower, because you're going to have, one way or the other, on the Republican side, a flamethrower. Either DeSantis or Trump. So I think that could be an idea. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, respectful comments only in the comments. And uh, we'll talk to you some more, hopefully tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye now.